You will realize deep way under the surface And like a fire needs coal in the furnace This is your goal that makes it all worth it This is your why that yeah. gives you your purpose Let's go. Thoughts can keep you down, pushing deep until you drown Or they can keep you up strong, focused on the now Glass half full or has it been emptied out? Well, that's all up to you and your mind Do you doubt anything, everything, not a thing Make my thoughts work for me, manifest what I need what I want, what I see, I could be anything I attract all the things that I see I believe I'll achieve as I breathe In and out again and again I don't doubt I sit in a plan And I found out that I can execute If I'm driven, if I listen, if I learn All the wisdom, read some books Something written, watch the best Teach a system, I invest Never hidden, I ain't scared Ain't no chicken, I take days I'll be winning, you get back What you're giving, find the reason that you're living What you're good at, all your gifts and what you're Hey guys, good morning. I got up uh, recently, as you guys know. I took my shake, MCT oil, pills, all that stuff already about 15 minutes ago. Uh, today, just because it's been happening to me the last three or four nights, uh, really bad food cravings, I'm going to explain why we get food cravings, uh, what to do about food cravings, and basically the few reasons why it actually happens. There's, there's only a couple reasons why you get food cravings. And as usual, for each one of these reasons, there is a solution. A solution that does not require a cheat day or doing something stupid. Just a, a solution which is the solution which you apply. So the last three days, honestly, I've been really tired, beat up, and depressed. I've been going through a lot. I don't share everything with you guys, obviously. Uh, but the last three days have been really hard. And due to that, I haven't been sleeping, uh, following a proper eating schedule, a couple other things I'll be getting into a little bit later with the video I'll, I'll make for you guys about food cravings and how to, how to beat them, basically. But long story short, if you guys are getting food cravings during the day or at night, there is a way to combat it. I'm going to start applying those techniques today. I didn't the last three days, just as I said. I'm getting burnt out, overworked, tired. Uh, some bad news recently, some other things have been happening, just overall uh, kind of heavily depressed, but there's still work to do, so you still got to do the work regardless. But anyways guys, let's get to vacuums the way in, and then I might just do the lecture next actually. So. <clears throat> And for the way in. Almost forgot to take a video again. Uh, this is just uh, breakfast here, guys. It's uh, pineapple, watermelon, my usual drink I got over here. It's just uh, some nootropics mixed with BCAAs, some um, two drops of iodine, water hydration tablet, and a salt pill. Uh, my yogurt shake. I got um, four eggs, some cheese, can of black beans, and about two cups of white rice. And uh, that's breakfast today. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright 
And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago And call in. I'll bet on myself, you keep stalling I hear destiny and it's calling I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows And we're all going life, still nobody knows But I'ma choose what's right and take what comes and goes And ain't no one in life holding me back no more I've seen a lot Wake up, no sunlight, so cold Sleep is nice, so tired, my eyes fight They just wanna close back up tight Get up Hoodie on, hard work at the crack of dawn This life ain't for the weak ones No, this life pure only for the strong Feeling slow, shake it off Don't got time for negative thoughts Red sight, got the dot Shoot my shot, I want the talk Never lost, got my plot Know my story, I know my boss I will fight against the clock Time's a limited gift from God One day I will have my victory Crush all my enemies so viciously Work so hard, my hands are blistering And they will carve my name in history Wake up to the sound of the drums Stand up, locked and loaded, here I come I'm here to stay, here to fight another day You can't stop me with some pain I am here to make a change Whoa. Yeah, I'm a student of the game I study every single frame I don't just listen, man, I change And grow a little every day I got this hunger deep inside of me I got this need that keeps on guiding me I got this energy providing me It's all I need to overcome all my anxiety One day I will have my victory Crush all my enemies so viciously Work so hard my hands are blistering And they will carve my name in history Wake up to the sound of the drums Stand up, rock and load it, here I come I'm here to stay, here to fight another day You can't stop me with some pain I am here to make a change Whoa. Next meal real quick, just before I go out to get marketing, I got about uh, half a cup of ground beef mixed with organ meat, some mac and cheese with uh, added extra cheese, strawberry yogurt, uh, strawberry protein shake, and about half a pineapple. Hey guys, just about to go rocking for the day. I got two miles on the agenda, and ugh, it's just 60 pounds on the back, but I swear to God it feels a lot heavier today. Uh, it's pretty low energy today, pretty beat up. Um, I did get, like, I slept last night probably about five and a half hours, but uh, I think I'm just getting overworked. Going to have to take a break, maybe take a little time off tonight. I don't know. But um, I'll chat with you guys again in a sec when I'm in the middle of the ruck. I just finished my rucking. Took a lot longer than was expected. <laughs> Took me about 40 minutes. Um, took the bag off and I figured I'd <laughs> just jog for a second, uh, but the field was full of people here, so I actually just uh, probably ran too fast for a mile, call it marketing, and then I stopped and uh, luckily I had a bunch of flyers in my backpack, so I passed those out to the softball, or sorry, um, 
uh, kickball and volleyball teams here. So that was good and uh, unexpected little uh, happy note. Now I'm gonna go home, eat something, because I'm very hungry. <laughs> Alright guys, real fast, uh, I took the last two days off to recover, no workout, so just been pretty beat up as I said. So I'm going to be coming back at it today and I figured I might as well show you guys a full body workout. So this is for those of you who want to just train three days a week. You would basically do either one or two sets of this depending if you do to failure or near failure essentially. And you would just uh, alternate days with days off and then take one two day gap uh, days off essentially and then back at it. <clears throat> but it's just 16 moves. I'm going to show you what they look like now. But it's just uh, back extension, bicep curl, triceps extension, front delt push-up, lying lateral raise, abdominal crunch, scapular retraction, uh, 10 degree forward lean shrugs, decline chest press, side crunch, 30-30 lat pull, rear deltoid pull, hamstring curl, three-step cable step up, and this for your glutes, adductors, and abductors. Targets all three heads of the glutes as well. Uh, your leg raise for your psoas, and of course the calf raise. Now, um, <clears throat> some of these I know are a little bit advanced. If you haven't done them before, they will be difficult. Uh, this is why I stress the importance of training all muscles on your body, including plyometrics and mobility. And well, you guys know everything I talk about. Uh, but anyways, just uh, let's go ahead and get into the workout so you can see what it looks like. Because it's a full body workout, this is probably going to be more like a, I don't know, 20. 25 minute workout, I'm not really sure exactly, but let's see. You can see it in their eyes They're changing at night Underneath the dark skies Forced to become something darker inside You can feel the switch Feel the shift in the tide They keep desiring Something that's more inspiring Their brains rewiring Old thoughts they start aspiring They're never tiring No, now they feel the fight in them They feel the fire sweep Take over entirely They feel it growing It's showing the feelings They keep overflowing Always stoking the fire Adrenaline is overloading Hit the mat like a fighter They never let up Never throwing Giving to their desires No, they keep working on their focus They feel the temperature rise Now there is no place to hide You better dig deep inside And find anything Everything that you could Ever need Every breath that you breathe Dedicated to believe Strange that they called home Not for the week Left out in the cold Watched all the sheep Do what they're told Sure they would feast one day on their bones Going to the streets that they called home Not for the week, left out in the cold Watched all the sheep do what they're told Sure they would feast one day on their bones they the form of a beast
All right, so that's full body. Looks like it was about 21 minutes total. It's not bad because I had to screw around for a couple of seconds there, so not bad. But uh, all told, you do that three times a week. A little bit over an hour workout for the whole week, plus set up, do your walking, you know, breath work exercises, good diet, and you're well on your way. Obviously, this is best done with something, I mean, like my keychain gym, just basically a mobile cable system that can have adjustable weight, very easy to make one, buy one, they're pretty cheap on Amazon, things to make it anyways, but anyways, you get the idea. Good luck, guys. All right, guys, real quick, while my food is cooking, I just wanted to cover um, basically what I just talk talked about this morning, which is why you'll get these food cravings. And the primary reason that you'll be getting these food cravings is something called grayling. Now, this is a hunger hormone, and it's basically released... Well, it's released for a lot of reasons, but in most people's cases, it's released when you don't sleep enough. So if you don't sleep enough, more of this gets released, which actually makes you hungrier. Now, lately, I have not been sleeping nearly enough, about 50% uh, less than I should, unfortunately, due to a large number of factors. And on top of that, because I've been so busy lately, uh, my regular food times have been interrupted, so I've been going large spans of time without food. So, if you're not eating your food staggered throughout the day at regular intervals, and you're trying to go hours and hours and hours without food, your body's going to overcompensate by looking for calories at night. If you work a lot more than you typically do. Work meaning expend more calories during the day than you typically do and you don't compensate by consuming more uh, protein, carbohydrates, fat, etc. You're going to get these cravings in the middle of the night. If you try to cut your food too short before bed, so uh, say you go to bed at 10 o'clock, you try to stop eating at 6 or 7, you're probably going to get hungry in the middle of the night. If you have a really big meal just before going to bed, you might also get hungry in the middle of the night. So you guys get the idea. These things all lead to hunger in the middle of the night. Uh, we've talked about your microbiome before, but if you keep feeding your gut, your microbiome, sugar and sweets and stuff, it's much more likely you're going to be craving it because all those bacteria in your gut, well, they're going to want to stay alive. And they stay alive and repop repopulate themselves by consuming more of the same thing. And they control your brain too while they're down there. Your microbiome is your second brain. And these things will quite literally force you to eat food you don't want to eat because you're dieting or whatever it may be. And on that note again, don't really think diet, think lifestyle change for your future self and your future self's betterment. Don't think I'm dieting to lose weight rapidly, it's a very unhealthy mindset. Don't think I'm going to be like losing all this fat and then going right back to normal eating habits. Don't think like that, guys. Think about your future self. Start slowly, incrementally into implementing changes that will very slowly over time add up, stick permanently, so you're never unhealthy. And do it slowly and gradually and without an ego. So don't have this diet mindset of restricting calories, throwing things out. I'm not going to eat any sugar at all. That's a bad way to think about things. Think more moderation. I eat sugar, I mean, I hate to say frequently, but multiple times a week I have sugar. I'll have fast food occasionally. I don't uh, substitute, meaning I won't have some weird uh, bullshit uh, health pizza. I'm just going to order Papa John's or Domino's or something. Uh, I'm not going to have some kind of a weird make-believe burger. I'm going to make a real burger. Uh, again, you guys get the idea. It's about food equaling fuel, equaling understanding what the fuel's chemistry is and how it furthers your health. So there's no bad foods, just like there's no such thing as a poison which is bad. Everything has a literal use. You just need to know how to use it, how to dose it, and when and where. And this is why information is power. Knowledge is power, and it weighs nothing, guys. So just I hope these little things help out. Last meal of the day here, guys. It's just um, <clears throat> half a pound of bacon cut up, chopped, and fried with mac and cheese, beef, organ meats, garlic, and onions. And extra cheese. <laughs>